Hello everyone and welcome back to Lewis News. In today's video we're going to be talking more Madam Web. A little bit of a shorter news video for you guys today but still relevant information that we need to talk about. But either way we'll get into that part of the film's production, that part of the film's release where we start to get leaks of the film's runtime and that usually can tell us a lot about the film it could tell us a lot about the story and what sony pictures are going for but before we do get into that if you are new around here make sure you are subscribed because this is your number one youtube channel in 2024 for all types of spider-man news we cover everything from the games the movies and the shows and sometimes the comic books too so if you want to stay in the loop then make sure you are subscribed but with that said, let's get straight into this so this comes from cryptic 4k quality who we have covered on the channel many times in the past to do with rumors and leaks and stuff like that and he has said that madam web will currently have a one hour and 55 minute runtime which is actually quite interesting considering that is quite short for an action blockbuster in a modern day society a lot of action blockbusters usually go past the two hour mark however madam web will be under two hours and slightly on the shorter side but it's also worth noting that this may not end up being true and it also might not be the final runtime and possibly it could end up being longer or even shorter. But obviously Cryptic is one of the reliable leakers in the community or else I wouldn't talk about him on here on Lewis News. So I do believe that it will be somewhere around the 1 hour 55 mark but if it ends up not being then make sure you take this with a grain of salt. But what does this possibly tell us about the movie and its characters? Well, this is actually very interesting because the movie is going to be on the shorter side. And we know this film is going to have four main protagonists that are going to participate in the majority of the film. And those, of course, are Dakota Johnson's Cassandra Webb. We're going to have Sidney Sweeney playing Julia Carpenter. We've got Celeste O'Connor playing Matty Franklin. And, of course, Isabella Merced playing Anya Corazon. But because the film seems to be on the shorter side, I think that's telling me that potentially the other three Spider-Women, other than Dakota Johnson, may have a smaller role in the film than we first initially thought. Maybe the focus is mainly on Cassandra Webb, and they won't really get that much attention in terms of character depth. And that worries me because the trailer really pronounces them as some big characters in this film. However, if the runtime is that short, you know, if you add another half an hour onto this film, maybe there is room to do some character building, maybe do many character arcs for these other Spider-Women. But because it's an hour and 55, you only really have time without really rushing it to do a stable character arc for one of your main characters, which is obviously going to be Dakota Johnson's character out of any of them. And you've seen what Sony are like when they try to add depth to multiple characters in a film before, specifically Spider-Man 3, and that film was like two and a half hours long, you know, we've got Sandman, they tried to add depth to Eddie Brock, obviously Peter Parker, Mary Jane Watson, Aunt May was kind of pushed more to the sidelines in that film, people didn't really like that, and obviously a bunch of other stuff as well with Harry Osborn and Norman Osborn, they tried to push into that film, so I can only imagine if this film is an hour and 55 minutes long, if they are trying to build up four different Spider-Women in this movie, someone is going to have to be a sacrifice because they're not going to be able to execute that level of character depth and character analysis in that short space of time. But who am I kidding? It's Sony we're dealing with. I don't expect much character work to be done in this movie anyway, but it's just the thought. This movie seems pretty short, which means they're probably confining it to Dakota Johnson's character. But either way, we've still got Adam Scott's character to think of, who is rumored to be playing Uncle Ben. Obviously, Ezekiel Sims as well. So there's many of the characters that we haven't even seen yet. Mary Parker, of course, played by Emma Roberts. Many other characters that we currently haven't seen yet. But either way, it's very interesting. I want to know all your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think about this are you excited for madam web i want to know all your thoughts with that being said make sure to hit a like on this video subscribe if you're new because we're covering all the spider-man news in 2024 on this channel if you want to stay in the loop with your favorite webhead this is the channel for you hit the bell as well and i'll see you guys in the next one take care and peace